Hey Farm Hands, Farmer here. Welcome back to Hulk Reef. Today I got a special little treat for you guys. I got myself a giant clam here for on Hulk Reef. So this is going to be my second one. Uh, this is a Tridacta uh, Crosa clam and um, it's probably about three, four inches in size. I saw it today. I'm like, I had to get it because they're very rare around here and they're hard to get. So I picked this one up today. So we are going to go ahead and what we're going to do is clean up the shell of this clam because like they're very prone of catching all different kinds of hitchhikers on there. They get in between the crevices. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this clam into this bowl with the water and I got an old toothbrush and we're gonna brush all the clam shell, make sure it's spotless and it's pest free before we end up adding it into Hulk Reef. So these clams are awesome. Here's a picture of the one right here, what pretty much what it looks like. It's like never two are ever the same. So this one here, I picked up a big owl here in Ottawa. I saw it sitting there, it was all by itself. So I'm like, well, we're gonna get this one. I've always been uh, trying to get my collection of uh, clams back up in stock again. So this is gonna be the second one. And um, with these ones here, you wanna keep an, you know, a DKH like an 8.5 to a 12. Um, they like about 78 Fahrenheit um, water temperature. Um, they will eat uh, live uh, phytoplankton as well. So you, when you're dosing your tank phyto, They'll eat it up. They're very great for uh, you know filtering your water. They really don't do too much, but they do. They will suck up phosphates and stuff like that. So they are, they are beneficial for having on your reef, and they're just great to have there. And they're very beautiful, colorful, and very bright, vibrant. So we're gonna just open this bag. We're gonna clam in here. We'll check them out, see if we see any pests. If we see anything, we're gonna pick them off and clean them. One of the worst pests that you can get on a clam and you do not wanna get into your tank is the pyramid snails. There's a picture here. These little pyramid snails, they attach onto the foot of the clam and they just suck the blood out of it. They just suck it dry, they kill it and they just keep multiplying and they, it's crazy how fast that they go and they pretty much they just overtake the clam and kill it. And if you have other clams in there, they'll go over there and they'll feed on that one as well. If you're ever getting like cleanup crew, I've seen them on the bottom of cleanup crew, uh, like uh, turbo snails and stuff, just a little pyramid snail. that's just stuck to the underside of the, of the, of the snail and it's feeding as well. But most of the time they just want the clams, but that's how they get introduced into your tank. And you can kill all the clams that are in there. I've had clams before, doing really well, but one snuck into the system and I'm not sure how it did it. My clam I have was about probably like 15 years old. It was beautiful. It's introduced in your tank and it ends up, you know, they kill it, all your other clams are in there. So we always want to do and do our best that we can to make sure we don't get any of these pests into our tank. So we're gonna go ahead here. We're gonna open up this uh, bag and we're gonna start uh, brushing it, picking off anything that we see. And then we're gonna go put a uh, place this little guy in Hulk Reef, we'll place them right beside the other clam so they don't feel left out. All right guys, so here is the new little clam. I'll just show you guys up and close. So we're gonna clean up his shell. You can see there's all kinds of little things hanging on him. And this is where all the little pests hide, eh? And all these little grooves of the shell. This thing here looks different, so we're gonna try to knock that off. Um, and there's a couple, uh, what else I see there? Pest uh, snails. We're gonna get them. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna scrub this up and clean it. So that thing looks a little weird, get rid of that. But it's a nice looking clam. You can see back in the day, where is it? Right, one of these sides. Right here, he was, it looked to be damaged one time, like his shell broke off a bit, but, so he's definitely a strong one. So we're gonna go ahead, let's clean this all up. All right, so we just gotta clean them up here a little bit. And then we'll get them acclimated into the into the tank. So usually where you see these pyramid snails, I'm gonna show you right where the foot usually is. You'll see little white snails and those usually are pyramid snails, but he is looking clean. So I did a really good inspection on him. I'm pretty happy with him. So I'm just gonna clean up a little more and we will be good to go. There we go. So I did an extra cleaning, knocked off. You see all this stuff on here that could have went into my tank. It is all off of there. There's definitely some uh, 
put uh, vermin snails in there. So we're definitely got rid of those tube worms and I definitely don't want them in there. So he's all cleaned up. I'm gonna rinse them off, some new water, get them acclimated and we'll get them set in uh, Hulk Reef. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a top down view of how the clams are doing here. So it's the one on the left I end up picking up. I want to give you guys a top down view because look through the side panel, it's very difficult to see the colors. And right now it's just early morning and he has opened up. He's looking really good. He's looking healthy. He's beside his other one there that I've had for like six months now. He's doing awesome. So I just want to give you guys a look and I'll try to give you guys a better pictures later on to get the other camera out and uh, see how it, it's coming along. But I'm definitely happy with it. It doesn't do any justice, especially, I don't know, trying to get the colors to pop on it from my angle. It's beautiful, like vibrant teal, blue. It looks spectacular, but we're not getting that right here on the camera right now, but oh well, it's the way she goes. All right, farm hands. So that is the new uh, clam I got. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed that. So hopefully it'll last a long time and haul grief here. I'm gonna watch it grow out. I'll put it right beside the other one. So this one is definitely a little bit bigger than the other one that I had in there, but uh, all the parameters are in check. It should do fine and it should definitely grow out and I can't wait to see how it's gonna go. So if you guys have any clams, leave uh, your comments below. We'll hit you guys up if you guys need any advice. I'm always around. So please subscribe and hit that like button.